Alison Bunce is dreading tomorrow. She cycles to her local station in Surrey before taking two trains to work in town. We're kind of like pawns in a way because none of this is our fault. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get on the train, so I'm really worried about it. Strikes have been taking place on South Western for over two years. The dispute is about the role of the guard. The company wants the driver to operate the doors on these new suburban trains, which will arrive next year. Fundamentally, it does come down to the operation of the doors. Uh, we want uh, to be moving to a more automated process with the use of the drivers, and that's something that we need to discuss with drivers and guards. But what we're seeking to do is replicate systems that are in place in other train companies in the UK. The unions, though, say they want the guard to have an active role in giving the trains the all clear to go. They said it comes down to, oh, that, that's going to take too much more time. What they're arguing to us about is three seconds. And unfortunately, the chief executive kind of flippantly made a remark the other day that every second counts. So, so it seems like every second counts, not safety counts. This is the longest rail strike in recent history. It's set to be a miserable festive period for southwestern commuters. Tom Edwards, BBC London.